Oh, that's good. H is good. H is a good one. Yeah. Let's see if we can get an angle whereby we can see what's actually writing. Yeah, that's good. It seems to do overlapping lines slightly. Yeah. But at least they're all the same. We could just put all this part of I guess that could be an excuse. And we can always adjust them manually. It's a handwriting machine. It is a handwriting machine, exactly. It's not a typewriter. Each letter has to be a bit unique. <laughs> well, they are a bit unique. Qualify, There's enough chips. I say handwriting machine instead of typewriter. Getting less and less good. Well, luckily the reset at the end of the character turn. I hope the indent has been fixed at the end of the character turn. I'm not sure if I did that right. If not, then it's a if not, start. <laughs> what the random indentations? <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. We can we can code that in. But, but, sure you code it on a but one. I'd need to do separate. Um, I'd need to have an internal X and Y axis and remember where it is and stuff. That's totally doable. It just needs some thought. Oh, it's doing the random indent thing. I'll fix that. I promise. Let's have a look at this. Uh, How these work. We're documenting everything here. I'm fairly pleased with that level. I'm very pleased with that. In fact, I'm just going to swing this round and hope that it's capturing this mechanism over here. This is going to be a very odd bit of footage. It's keeping reasonable, yeah. reasonably in line. Yeah. We must have miscalculated the line length because I think we can fit in far more than eight characters. Yeah. Which is fine, that's always a variable. Doesn't like ours. It's a bit too clumsy. Yeah, ours are a tricky one for it. I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the coding for the R. Oh, uh, actually, you may have a point. Let's check what the R vectors are like and then. Because I did find one that had things the wrong way around. And I just rectified that. Oh, Ooh, what's the D gonna look like? Oh yeah. My God. Oh, this could be. This is really a trial of its. Its accuracy, and it would be so much more accurate. than I just say once again, um, if it didn't have to go back to the origin, because we're yes. just holding up error. Yeah. Oh, that's. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna like this one bit. <laughs> oh, it might be a stylized D. I don't know. Let's give it a chance. <laughs> Silly, silly machine and all its sentience. Yes, D doesn't work. D, D needs fixing, preferably in the typeface rather than... Yeah, I think it's because ha we're having it try and do a millimeter, a millimeter's movement. Yeah, it's a bit and, too precise for us. Well, that looks, that looks a, a bit D-ish, actually. It's, it's distinguishable from the O, which is a good start. And then we've got an exclamation mark coming in. And there we go. Why is stop writing there? Uh, the pen yeah, the pen was knocked out. Well, that's kind of a disappointing finale. That's why it's getting thinner, thinner. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does get thinner and thinner, doesn't it? Alright, well we can tweak that. It needs to be 